Hi. Hello, hello. I don't know why this is so, oop, let's do that, shall we? All right, jumping on here. You all ready? You all ready to connect about business and July, the month of July? Woo woo. Is anybody else on the same page as me feeling like, how on earth is it already July 2020? I cannot believe it. July, I gotta write it down because it just doesn't feel possible. July 2020, say it with me. July 2020, it's a new month. It's a new month. And quite frankly, we're entering the second half of 2020. There's only six months left to the end of this year. Wow, 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 wow. Um, so while you're jumping on, tell me where you're jumping on from. Tell me one thing about June that you're really proud of. Something on your team, something about you. It could be personal, it could be business. I wanna hear about it all. So um, it's July. It is a new day. Sorry, I got a phone call there. And um, we, got some, we got some plans to talk about. We got a game plan to put together. And uh, I'm gonna go over the game plan with you. And so while you're jumping on here, make sure you're tagging your team, sharing this in your group pages. That's gonna be important. Um, because we know not everyone can join us live. So if you're catching the replay, type in hashtag replay, and then I will go back through and look at the comments and engage and answer questions and just, you know, connect with you that way. Also, I just want to remind you that the game plans for the month are in the eSuite document library. And if you look up July game plan, if you use the search feature, then you won't have to spend much time looking at all. Ooh, I love it. I'm loving all the comments. Hi, Amanda. Good morning, Josh. Oh, it's afternoon now, but it's still morning on some, some coasts, right? Um, I see Boston in the house. Oh, good. Look at you celebrating your wins. I love that. And don't hesitate to tag someone that you, something they did on your team that you're proud of and you just want to shout it out. Was it your highest volume ever? Was it a number of enrollments that you had, you know? Um, was it you took a Sabbath consistently each week? Uh, and so you really got that rest that you needed to keep powering through all month and not feel just exhausted. That would be a big one for me. And I'm really uh, looking forward to catching up. Hi, Lauren Ravan, how are you? Um, thank you, thank you. I did my own makeup today too, how about that? I might need someone to send me an eyeshadow tutorial, um, but that doesn't have anything to do with um, what, what we're gonna talk about today. So we'll just, we'll just move over to talking about today. I'm gonna start with some housekeeping. While people are jumping on, y'all are tagging your team, sharing this in your group pages. Gonna recap a few things. If you didn't already, Mark went live this morning on his um, Facebook wall, giving the news and the announcements for the month ahead. And I really love the word he used for July. He said, let's be disruptors, right? We're already changing the graph. We're already changing the graph um, for the year, right? June has never been higher than May. And while we were just right there, I'm telling you, like, that's huge. That's huge. And so let's keep that going. And we do that with it, with intentionality. We don't do it by default. We do it by design. What do I mean by that? Oh, very strategically, internally, uh, among the various teams, the field team, you guys, leadership, all the way down to brand new distributors, their strategy. And each one of us has to make a conscious effort to do really well. So um, to do our part, I should say. So just to kind of quickly, we launched pick two, pick three right now because of the U.S. holiday that we have upon us. And the purpose of that is to really make sure people kick off July having conversations. Whether you're virtually celebrating the 4th or you're selling a, celebrating the 4th in small groups, um, you know, you can bring up the uh, conversation around pick two, pick three. And uh, for Mexico, you guys have BOGOs. So I love that because it gives you an opportunity to just kick off the month. Why wait to do tomorrow? What you should be doing right now and you can do because it's on promotion. And I would also say I'm super excited about the mocktail recipe book that they put together. And that's going to all the customers that uh, join us for the pick two, pick three. And it's in your eSuite document library. Um, so that should be there. And I was told, even if it's not there yet, it will be there in French and Spanish. 
I love it. It's genius. I wonder if I actually have it sitting right here. I did at one point. I might have to run and grab it. It's, it's genius. And what I love about it is it's incorporating many of the products. So depending on the market you're in, there's going to be ones that you can use. Um, also, I really believe um, it's so Instagrammable. It's so social, right? And because we're doing so much from home, um, you're going to love it. You're just going to love it. Um, and we can share our favorite recipes too. We don't, we're not just limited to this, but look at this, look how beautiful this is. Isn't that amazing? It's called the Sparkling Berry Crush. It's got raspberries in it, sparkling water, and super reds. Amazing. And they give you the directions, the calorie count, everything on it. This is amazing. So we're gonna have some fun with this. Um, they've got the Skinny Brew Teeny, which is skinny brew, cold water, sugar-free, vanilla syrup, and some coffee beans, <laughs> that's cute. And it tells you how to make it. Um, it's got hydration spritzer. It's got skinny cherry lemonade. It's got skinny Arnold Palmer, Greensberry iced tea. I'm just loving this. Cranberry lime mocktail. Um, and there's more, I just kind of started in the middle. Um, but this is, this is awesome. What a great upsell for our customers and then you're gonna have it available to you in your e-suite as well. So that's really cool. That'll be a great conversation piece. Um, I do wanna remind you to hold the date. August 13 is our next virtual summer camp session. And so those tickets are not on sale yet, but they will be. And you know whether you're able to gather in small groups and watch it together or whether you're watching it from your home, it'll be an evening event again from six to nine Eastern, five to eight Central, I believe is what we're saying. And um, you're going to want to make sure you have that on your calendar because I know summer is busy and hectic and there's all the things that we've got going on, but that's why I want you to plan for it now. I want you to put it in your calendar now. Um, all right, so remember all new DTs who enroll in July will have 30 days to sign their first distributor at half off. Love that they uh, extended that. Your summer camp session apparel is going to go officially on sale starting tomorrow through the 8th. So those cute shirts you saw us wearing um, the night of the event, I want you to be ready because if you bought your plus pass, uh, there were so many perks and one of them was you have access to this apparel. And there's also a glass bottle that you can shake your uh, products in and it's amazing. And it's clear so that people could ask you what you're drinking. Um, I love that. And so that's going to be fun. And that will also be a part of it. And so that goes on sale July 2nd. Now, let me just talk to the plus pass members for a minute, because just a reminder, anybody who had the plus pass, um, the on-demand content is up and there are four new things. There's a segment on consistency really built around host to post. There's a sec, there is a new spotlight by Alyssa Marie, who it's all on brand and building your brand. And then there's two, uh, mover and shaker testimonies that you're going to hear from for the first time. So two new stories and then all the other recordings from the one before, and that's still on sale. If people want to jump in and buy the plus pass to get that on demand portion, they can absolutely do that. Um, that is definitely still for sale. Oh, I love housekeeping. Just kidding, I don't. Um, all new distributors also have three calendar months to go diamond for the first time. Woo -woo. I love that we got that back and I'm super excited. They gave us one more month for um, existing distributors to go triple presidential or ambassador for, this time, for the first time to earn their more bonus. So it's gonna be awesome. Gonna be awesome. Take advantage of that. Who's gonna get one of those bonuses, by the way? Triple pres or ambassador, or do you know somebody who is? Tag them. We wanna, we wanna start giving them love, love right away. All right, so hopefully I've given you time to print off your July uh, game plan goal sheet. And obviously we are, for the US, this is a month where we celebrate our country's freedom. So, you know, this business affords you so many freedoms and I wanna make sure we are loud about that. Someone asked me right now, how do we help people that need what we have? And I said, just share the, just share your real life. Just be loud about the reality of what you get to do, what you benefit from by being a part of this company, um, by being a part of this company and using the products, right? Like all the things and be consistent about it. And I love, again, the, the spotlight from Claire Flores on our last virtual uh, summer camp and how she taught, taught you to tell your story and how to change it up every day. You should be telling your story every single day on social media. Consistency is so powerful, but here's the day, the one day you don't tell your story is the day that somebody gets on to see 
your post and you're not sharing it. And so they decide to go elsewhere, you know, because not always are people ready, but when they're ready, it's go time. So uh, I'm loving all your comments. Yay. Um, I can't wait to go back through and interact with you guys. So if I'm missing your shout out, keep sending me the love and I'll go back through and talk you talk to you personally. Um, okay, so that's how you do it. And make sure you include the income disclosure statement with any photo, with any post that it all talks about or shows or demonstrates in some way the benefits that the business brings you, okay? And then um, if you need a reminder on all the words and verbiage of things we can't say, and hashtags we, we're not to be using, make sure you go into your e-suite and you can find all that information. Okay, so, uh, you know, I really wanted to talk to you this month about leadership. Now, if you are at the level of diamond or higher, you're considered what we call leadership. However, I wanna talk to all of you that are not diamond yet. Comment below, say that's me. If you are diamond or higher, this is you, but even for those of you that are not yet diamond, I'm talking to you right now too, because here's the deal. Here's what I know, whether you have the title you need, you want yet or not, the only way to get it is to start um, living the level you wanna be, living the title you wanna possess. You don't wait till you get it to do the things, you do the things now and then the title follows, the, the leadership influence follows. It really is about influence to me more than even a title, but when you're diamond and above, it already comes with influence. So now you have more responsibility. That's not always fun, but it's definitely real. So, um, you know, when I think about leadership, I think about duplication. I think about creating a legacy. I think about my kids watching. I think about my kids watching for sure. Um, and I think about how it really is about setting an example more than it is about controlling or manipulating or managing, you know? And what else comes with leadership? I think of vision. Oh my goodness, I think of vision. And we know vision leaks. And we know you gotta cast vision regularly. Let me just talk to all of you who've been going for a promotion and you've been using those thermostats, right? Like those thermostats clearly give your team vision every day. And so I'm gonna use this as an example right now for you to dig in and see what your goals are for this month and how you can keep casting what you're going for and what you want. Because remember, even if you're not where you wanna be yet, casting vision is a great way to recruit. Where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? When people, people follow people who know where they're going and they wanna be a part of something. And so it'll really inspire those that are watching you or those that are already working with you, both. Um, so, you know, I, you know, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about uh, your goals for July, right? And I'm thinking about those of you that had a goal, a, a goal in June that perhaps you didn't hit it. I'm thinking about those of you that had a goal and you did hit it. And if you're not careful, you're gonna start drifting because you don't have a clear goal of the next place you wanna be. And so right now you need to determine that. Don't live on default, live by design. How do you do that? Well, what do you want? What level are you reaching for? What are you on a run for? Is it ambassador? Is it diamond? Is it ruby? Um, is it a volume increase? Again, I love the thermostat, uh, vision, visible, visual, visual ideas. It's vision and it's a visual, it's both. Um, and then, you know, it could be a position. It could be a number of personally, personal enrollments you're working for. It could be how many times you're gonna complete the steps to success, but it could also be, um, it could be just how many people personally enrolled you want Ruby. How many people uh, you enrolled last month and how many you want to go where? You know, you want your new people to do the steps of success. What is your goal? That's what I wanna know. And remember, if you don't have a plan, oh, you're, or, oh you'll go somewhere. But unfortunately, you'll have very little control of where that somewhere is. And you're going to get to the end of July and wonder where the month went. So let's make those decisions today. I love what Mark said this morning. Take time to celebrate with your team. I had so much fun. I was on a Zoom with Kim Chipak and Ashley Sinclair. And I think Cheyenne Knox jumped on. And Brielle was there going for her promotion. And it was so much fun. We were listening to music, celebrating, crying, freaking out as the system went down. You know, the system going down a couple times and being back up within minutes. There were times where the system would go out and wouldn't be up for 14 days. That that was nuts. And you were like praying your promotion was, you, you prayed by the time it went back up, you did promote, but you're already halfway into your next month. So we've come so, so far. But both people, ones that hit their goals, exceeded their goals, and ones that fell short, 
um, or had no goals, this is the moment you need to make that determination. I mean, we're going to celebrate, but remember whether we didn't get where we wanted to go or we did, we give ourselves 24 hours. That's it. Why? Because no matter what you're celebrating or, or sad about, you can't let it steal too much time moving forward. Now, can I talk to those of you for a minute that have either said to me, my team is tired or I'm sure my team is tired or how do I motivate them when they've been running so hard? I'm tired. I feel depleted. Am I speaking to any of you right now as I say that? Let me just tell you the very first question I want to ask you is, are you taking a Sabbath? Seven days a week, we ask you to take one. Why? Because God gave us the Sabbath as a gift and you will burn out, you will empty. And you know, if I, I don't know why I didn't have the strategy until just recently, but I'll tell you what, when I was tired before, I just tried to keep pushing until my tank was so empty I collapsed and, and I was just no good for anybody. I don't want that for any of you. And there should be no reason that you are tired because you're taking a Sabbath once a week. And remember the goal is to hustle hard for six and uh, give one day to God and to rest and then trust him to blow your mind with what you thought you could do in seven, watch what he can do with six. So uh, I just wanna encourage you to stop talking about it, stop thinking about it, or doing the shoulda game. I should have done that. I would have done that. Do it. The only way to do a thing is to just do it. So plan your um, Sabbath for the whole month, okay? And then, you know, when I think of leading, we talked about vision there for a minute and having clear vision. And if you don't and you're not sure what that looks like or how to cast vision every day, ask, 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 ask. Make an ask out of yourself. Your mentor, your diamond leader, your ambassador leader, myself, the field team. Ask us. We'll help you get clear about what it is you're going for so that you can cast vision regularly. And as you get closer to the end of the month, I'm sure some of you who are who did uh, crush a goal last month, I'm sure it's hourly, right? That you're giving updates of how close you're getting with your volume. So uh, vision is very important. But I also think an example is important. Setting an example and lead, the word leader is a verb, right? It's not, it's not a noun, it's a verb, it's an action. And I really believe it's casting vision, but it's also setting and modeling the right example. But guess what else it is? It's the execution accountability. So we've got the vision, we're, we're modeling the behavior, so we're doing the thing, we're not asking our team to do what we're not modeling for them, but we're also modeling so they have an idea of what to do. And the third and final piece is inspecting what we expect, the accountability part. That's why I love power hours so much because we can do them together. It's a way to model the right behavior, but it's also a way to, um, not just model the right behavior, but also inspect it. Make sure they're actually taking action, that they're doing the thing. And it's also, you know, I firmly believe it's not, do I want to build a business this summer or have time with my kids? I believe it's both, but it comes with uh, time management. It comes with having a plan to wake up and execute it first thing in the day, or maybe you're all family first thing in the day and you don't even start working your business till one o'clock in the afternoon, you know? But it's having that plan and modeling that for your team, whether your team be one, 10, 100, or a thousand or a hundred thousand, right? Double ambassadors know what I'm talking about. Um, but it is modeling that behavior and being able to work alongside them to do both accountability and um, accountability and uh, execution and uh, modeling for sure. So um, there's a few other things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, we've got a lot of host to post training starting the 6th through the 17th of the month. And guess what? For the first time ever in the history of our company doing these little host to post trainings, we're actually going to offer um, so it's the, it's the 6th through the 17th. The 16th is going to be a Spanish host to post training, all Spanish. And the 17th is going to be all French. So um, there'll be testimonies in between. And I'm going to just tell you, yesterday I got to FaceTime. Actually, I didn't get to FaceTime because she must have an Android, but I tried. And it kept cutting me off, so I figured it out real fast. I got to FaceTime Jennifer Nivens, who is a new Triple Diamond on our in, in the family. And, you know, we're still, obviously, we got to vet all that and make sure it's official. But I say that to say when I called her, I just, I was asking her questions like, what do you credit your success to? Like who's winning big time on your team? I want to know your leaders, things like that. 
And she said they their team, the reason they were triple diamond is they went on a host to post run for 90 days. 90 days host to post run is how they start their new people. I, I think we've heard Kelly Brown and Stacey Alcala say it. They've created a host to post culture. Obviously, we know Rachel. Thank you for sharing that amazing idea and being willing to put this train these trainings together for us this month. But the 6th through the 17th at 11 a.m. Mark your calendar now. We wanted to start right after conference or right after 4th of July because we knew some people are going to be going on vacation. We want to make sure we have your full attention. And we kicked this off in May corporately. And so this isn't something that's going to go away. It's actually going to, it's going to be what saves your life and grows your business. So for those of you that started real well in May and then you've been inconsistent in June, I'd say get back to being consistent. You might be seeing lots of leads from all the work you did in May, but you're not going to keep seeing it if you're not staying consistent. And consistency is king. And if you haven't seen their segment, Rachel was the host, Rachel Jones. It's on the on demand for the summer series for all you plus pass holders. Um, but that that's going to be huge. So make sure you're plugging into that. And I, I just love it because host to post to me really kind of does all the things. It really incorporates the fundamentals of the business, which you're going to see on your game plan sheet. And it really, you know, it's all the things of building your business. It's all the things connecting and inviting, you know, um, inviting them to learn more about the business. Perhaps you're going to have them get on one of our um, join for free Zooms that we do as a field team every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday consistently every week. Because again, we want to model the right behavior as we run with you building the business. And so, um, by the way, whether you're a part of our run to VIP or our VIP page, all the Zoom times that we host weekly, whether it's like a power hour, a working power hour in the morning during the week, or whether it's an evening new distributor training on Wednesday nights, or it's a Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, Saturday Zoom where we basically teach you how you can pre-sell and join for free. It's also just a great work hour too, if that's how you want to utilize it. We always have different guests on there with us. So um, you're going to want to make sure you have those in your calendar. Also today at, uh, I need to double check, but I think it's at four o'clock. At four o'clock today, super excited. Ashley Sinclair and the and the team from the TikTok one-on-one -on -one segment are gonna be teaching our diamonds and above how to monetize the fun we can have on TikTok, how we can use that social platform to build our business. We're all on it anyways. We're all having fun watching videos. We might as well monetize it. We might as well build a business with it, right? And so they're gonna give you more basic business building strategies for that. You know, I think we talked a lot about the why and, and how, how it's been very helpful for them, but they're going to really get into the nitty gritty of that today on that call. So excited about that one for sure. Tag Ashley in the comments and say, I can't wait to see you, especially if you're diamond. If you're not yet diamond, good reason to go diamond because um, you want to start joining those weekly leadership calls that we host every week. So we are modeling the right behavior. You can build your list with host to post. You can do a whole lot of connecting and, and, and uh, starting to build that relationship. You can totally get people on your team as customers and distributors. And then obviously, um, you know, growing your team is a real big win. And that's one of our greatest fundamentals is being able to seal the deal. So if you don't already have like a follow-up Friday kind of schedule, um, then make sure that you do this month. I love Amber, one of our field team. She's our field team liaison. She said on month end, we, we make it all about follow-up, going through all our messages, and we really just reach out and make sure we have hit it air, land, and sea. And obviously, anytime there's a promotion that we announce this month, and there will be new products, might be, and uh, just anything like that gives you an excuse to reach out again, and you should. Um, and Connect app is great for that. So hopefully you are on board with that because that is such a beautiful way to connect easy and efficiently. Um, I love that this thing has on here your your like worksheet for completing your steps. It's great accountability and running your auto ship. Um, and, and I do just want to say those of you that were the top 50 customer enrollers for the month of June, you do get a private zoom with Mark this month, as well as the five names he announced. We did a drawing just so that anybody who at least got one customer had a chance to be on it. And then the rest of the, will be filled with our top 50 customers enrollers from the month of June. Cause we had all those customer promotions. So that was awesome. Um, just looking at my notes to make sure there was nothing else I wanted to, to, yeah, so. How are we gonna be disruptors? How are we gonna change the graph all through the summer? By leading and leading well, by casting vision, by um, 
modeling and setting the example and then actually holding our people accountable to the action and the goals they've set, casting that vision regularly, so regularly that people just are so focused on where they're going, there's no distractions. That's how you be a disruptor. And modeling the right behavior so there's no opportunity for the distractions to come in, especially for our new people. We gotta help them, we gotta help them know what it looks like to be focused and to build this business by design, not on default. Nobody want, nobody drifts their way to diamond, nobody drifts their way to ambassador. So we gotta, we gotta have intentional, decisions that we make consciously every single day with our six list, with our vision at the beginning, the modeling, the right behavior and the execution piece that's really going to help people stay plugged in and keep them growing all through the summer. So I'm excited. It's, it's July. <laughs> what we did in June. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Take time to celebrate. Take time to feel the sadness. Have a good cry if you didn't get where you wanted to go, but don't forget to look at what you did do because I, and, and, I know if you're watching this, you might think I'm talking about you because I had this conversation with at least three people yesterday. And the conversation was that um, the team has worked so hard and how can we you know, rally them again for another month? And yet, so disappointed you didn't actually hit the new rank, but you actually had your highest month ever in the history of your business. That's flipping phenomenal and wouldn't have happened if you weren't pushing that hard. And that reminds me, take your Sabbath because that way nobody's exhausted. Everybody's just ready, ready, ready to go at the beginning of every new week after they've had their Sabbath and they just feel so refreshed and refueled and then they can accomplish so much more. So, um, yeah, I think that is exactly what I wanted to say. Oh, and then I want to Hebrews 12, I believe it's one and two talks about running your race and keeping your eyes on the prize, keeping your eyes on Jesus and not allowing distractions to come in at any point and, and not allowing um, just, and when I say distractions, fear, worry, what ifs, you know, what if you miss your goal? What if you don't hit it? Even if you don't hit it, you're going to be so much further than you ever were. Even if you don't hit it, your team is going to be like, so connected, so um, plugged in. They're going to be having fun and you're going to be seeing the, the, the momentum, right? That's even if. And what kind of person are you? A what if? And you think of all the things that could go wrong or, or bad? Or are you going to be the even if kind of person that looks for all the good even if you don't land where you were wanting to? And I, I will, you know, I'm changing your perspective right now, even if. Remember, Maya Angelou says it. Do what you can do when it... And then when you know better, do better. So now that you know you might be a what if person, you got to shift to be an even if person. And I believe for each of you that will help you shift your perspective and help you get that much closer to where you're going. So I believe in you. I know you can do this. The field team believes in you. They, they know you can do this. We're all working hard behind the scenes to support you the best way we can. If we're missing something, reach out. We want, uh, we, we, we know we're not perfect, but we want to be the perfect company for you. We want to be the perfect field team for you. And so, um, yeah, don't, don't hesitate to communicate with us. And y'all, congratulations. June was awesome. Let's keep, let's keep getting after it. Take your Sabbath and let's go. The only way to do a thing is to just do it. So let's just do it. Let's be disruptors. Love you guys.